Chapter 10 RLC circuits will go over the two main RC circuits in series and parallel form and compare and contrast them. First in discussion is the series RC circuit. This involves a sine wave analog source in series with a resistor and a capacitor. We use Kirchhoff's voltage law to solve this circuit with an addition of a phase angle because the waveforms are not in a uniform phase. This is the vector diagram for this circuit and using the two equations listed the voltage drops and phase angle can be calculated. The second setup is the parallel RC circuit. This circuit requires the use of Kirchhoff's current law instead of the voltage law to solve the current drops and phase angle for this circuit. This is the vector diagram for the currents in the circuit and the phase angle. This angle is always the angle between V in or I in and VR or IR vectors. The equation for the phase angle theta uses the inverse tan of the capacitor voltage or current divided by the resistor current or voltage. Our first circuit to test in this chapter is a series RC circuit. First we select the parts V sine, which is the source, and then the capacitor C and the resistor R. We place them onto the schematic screen. And we hook them up into a series fashion. And lastly, for the circuit, we place our zero volt reference ground to the circuit and set our values for the source. Zero volts for V off, 10 volts for V amp, and a frequency of one kilohertz. And select our resistor value of 10K and our capacitor value of 0.01 microfarads. Next we node name V in and V out to show on our waveform. And now we're ready to pursue running the circuit. We now set the values to the simulation profile to run to 2 milliseconds with a step size of 2 microseconds and just checking that we are on typical timing mode. Now we run the circuit. and select our traces we wish to view. First one being VN. See the oscillation from 0 to 10 volts to a negative 10 volts. This is our sine wave amplifier. Now we want to input the trace V R11 R12. This is to plot the voltage drop over the resistor. And as you can see, it's in a sine wave form also because of the analog circuit. And it drops roughly 4 to 5 volts.
the second circuit is a parallel RC circuit. We do this, we just modify the series circuit by rotating the resistor and adding the necessary two wires to the circuit. The same values are used in this circuit as in the series resistor capacitor circuit. And with the same simulation profile, we just click run to view if there are any differences. First, we select the VIN trace again, and there is no difference there because we did not change the values to our source. And we type in again the VR value into the trace expression box VR1 colon 1 comma R1 colon 2. Now this does produce a difference due to the phase angle difference and the standard for a parallel circuit being that all the voltage goes through both parts. Current is the item that splits up. And that concludes chapter 10 RLC circuits.